still 30 foot here? Uh, 26. So yeah, pretty much. Hey, this is Matt. Hey, bud, what's going on? Oh, not much. I just want to call and let you know, we, we had to go like two and a half hours out west, completely blown out. I knew. Oh. Just wanted to call and say thanks again. All right, we will. All right. Take it easy. Bye. We ended up two hours west of where we thought we were going to be fishing, and we are at Stonewall Jackson Lake in West Virginia, fishing the figure eight musky tournament. So today's Friday, we're going to be doing some pre-fishing, hopefully find some, uh, some fish or just get a lay of the lake so we'll have an idea what to do on Saturday and Sunday. But it's been a hell of a day, and hopefully we can show you guys how to catch some big lake musky, which we are both extremely, extremely skilled at. about to catch a 50. No, we want to save the 50 for tomorrow, Dennis. Come on. No, I'm getting one each day, dude. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. I'm down with that. Just found out also there's a a bass tournament with like 50 boats or 50 some 50 something boats plus all the boats from the musky tournament. It's going to be packed. 6:51 in the morning. Next day, we're about to launch the boat and go fish this tournament in 9 minutes. It's going to be dope. We're here. It's day number one of the Musky in the Mountains Musky Tournament. Yeah. We're fishing in 53 feet of water. Dennis, what are you starting with, dude? Starting with the walleye colored deucer. Walleye deucer. I made an instant audible. I went with a smaller deucer. Dennis, is, it's a gold white tail. This side of the lake has a lot better clarity than the other one. Yeah, the other side was like dirty compared to this. Dennis has musky brain already. The first five minutes of fishing. Yo, let's go to the back of this creek. Sir, you're real. You got a lot of PMA going on right now. Let's let's run to the back of this creek and fish the shallowest parts first. So if there are any active fish. All right, we're rolling. We're gonna go to the back of this creek. What's up? You did? It turned on it, but it didn't eat it. So you had something just come up on it? it was, that was up for sure. It did come up and like come right to the bait and then turn right off on it. Dennis just had our first bit of action right here. Just had a fish come up on his bait. I'm gonna try a blade for a bit. Oh, dude, this is what I'm throwing this. I can fish it so slow. Works for me. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, dude, this is this is it. All right, here we go. That's the bait of choice. Going with the lead lures boiler maker. Thanks, Lee. Go check him out. Today's angler, him and Robbie. Leave them linked in the description below. Hopefully, I can catch a fish on this. I feel really good. I, as soon as that hit the water and I saw it, I was like, that looks perfect because that pull bait you're throwing was like slow. That kind of had me thinking when I was throwing the deuce, I was like, it's a lot faster. Well, yeah, I was looking at the temperature and it dropped three degrees since yesterday, so I'm thinking it's not speed today. Dude, this thing, money. But why wouldn't they come back here to feed on, like, I'm sure there's a ton of fish back here. Small fish are attracted by all this shit getting pushed through. Probably, yeah, that backside, I guess. I mean, it's, it's moving, so. Right, let's take like a few casts back here just to say we covered it. Muskies like mud lines, right? Whoa, gotta follow. Gotta follow. Right on the mud line, dude. I barely. Where's that? Where's that? No, I, I can't tell. I can barely see in here. Is he? Is 
still there? Did you see it? No, did you actually see the fish? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. That was a 40 plus all day long. Yeah, ah. Uh, dude, okay. All right, I've got my heart going. That's some PMA right there. That was a good fish. That was a good fish. Oh, he's, I think he's on your bait, dude. I think I just saw him. Keep going. I could have sworn I just saw his back again. He's just, they're sitting right in the mud line. <sighs> Honestly, I didn't ever get a good look at that fish. I saw a brown flash behind the lure, and that was it. Hell yeah. So I'm not crazy. No, that was sick. There is no doubt about that. Oh god. It should have been in the bag. Two and a half hours into fishing, we fished all the way back into this creek. And Dennis had one fish come up on the glide bait, and then I had one in the eight on the boiler maker. All the way in the back in this like mud line. Really, really shallow too. So we're gonna just probably stay in here the rest of the day, just keep working back and forth, but Hopefully get another one to bite, another piece of action because that was a big fish. It was a big fish and I missed her. Well, never got her to eat. I'll throw one over top of you real quick back that way. She just ate it. I'm, dude, I'm just gonna keep doing this for like uh, two minutes. He just said over there in the current. Was it? Was my eight all right that time? I think I did it pretty good that time. Yeah. Like you keep the blades moving, but you're trying to like. Oh, speed it up. And trigger and real quick speed up to get it to like. You're like, damn, I want to fucking eat it. I mean, it was good there. She tried to fucking eat it. That's. I sped it up and I started. I brought it up real high, like you said, like this, and it came like almost out of the water, and she ate yeah. the tail. God, that was close. Oh, whoa. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, bro. No, no, you're good. I'm just freaking excited right now. Jesus. No, she she like nipped the back. She didn't really like hammer it. She just nicked it. <sighs> My heart, dude, is like racing. Whew. Exactly what I was saying earlier, and exactly like you were saying. They just, I think they're just staying in this area, circling around into the current, out of the current, back into the current, and like if we can get a bait in front of their face, they're gonna follow it. God, that was sick. And I know that fish probably came right out of the. Uh, like that mud line, just oh, yeah. right there, just sitting right there and fa started following it. I saw her once she got probably eight feet from the boat, maybe. Big. Come on, D, let's get one in the bag. You know, I don't even want to forget this side too. It's like we can just circle. Or oh, oh, come on. Was that? I, I don't know. I wasn't even looking. Jerk bait? Slammer? Do they want the slammer? When was it? That was right at the end of the miner, right? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Start moving our way up. I'm gonna throw that boiler maker back on. Damn, they are pushing. No, I'm gonna wait until they get a little bit closer because they shouldn't go down here. They'll back us up closer to that bank just a tiny bit and then spot lock it. Because we can cast to every piece of the bank from here, so. How you guys doing? Dude, you're hiding all the fish down here. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. I mean, I think it's definitely safe to say like a bucktail or, you know, boiler maker or some kind of bladed bait is the bait of the day. And you were fishing that side pretty heavily before I cast it in there. Yeah, I that glider over there. 
That fish probably saw the glider a couple times. Yeah. Oh, gotta fall, gotta fall, gotta fall. Keep it going, that's fine, that's a big girl. She's still, she's still on it, still on it. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Oh, come on. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Slow in the corner. Jerk it in the corner, it's slower. That's what she said. <laughs> God. She's still around here, keep it going. I'm gonna dunk mine in right here in the back. Go. Still on it? Nope. That was a very low follow, too. That was a big fish, though. You found him, bud. That was different than the first fish. Dude, that's the third follow. I just can't get him to connect. I like that you're coaching me on the eights. It helps a lot, actually. That was a big fish. That about sums up my figure eight life. So that's the third follow of the day. I'm shaking. It's like insane to have these big fish follow in and be so close behind the bait. Just not be able to get them to commit. But Dennis is like in the back coaching me on my eights because I suck at him. And it's funny because he was literally like speeded up on the turn. I think is when I when I did it on the turn that time, I like was jerking the rod while I was keeping it moving. Yeah. And that's when it shot out and came right up behind the bait. Speed up, speed up, speed up, slow in the corner. Kind of triggered it, but no eat. But at least we're seeing fish, because yesterday we didn't see a single thing. Those we were, two fish wanted to eat these last two. Yeah, this morning we were both, or no, last night, we were like, well, we're expecting just to zero this thing. So to see three and have the potential of like being able to catch them, feeling pretty good about it. Fish back here a little bit more. I want to move up this bank a bit just to see if we can find anything. Give these fish a little bit of a breather. And then if we see anybody coming in, we'll do exactly the same thing. Just come back. 145. 145? All right. Three, three hours, 15 minutes. It's no longer tournament time. We didn't boat any fish, but for the rest of the day, we're gonna check out a couple other spots in the backs of creeks and just see if we can well, move we tomorrow, anything. Yeah. yeah, we have to fish tomorrow. We gotta try to bag a fish. <laughs> kind of sucks, but we're gonna see if we can move anything. So now we're gonna catch four. Back to back to back. <laughs> Land. Chilling at the Quality Inn. <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was a good day. I'm actually pretty stoked because we moved fish. Three. Couldn't get it together today. But we have a good plan for tomorrow. I'm happy with the plan we made yesterday and stuck with today because it got us on moving three fish. Obviously, we're not on the board. We didn't bag any fish. But first place is... They cut... What did they have? 40. No, they were both 40. It was a 40... 0.5 and a 40.75 we moved two fish over that easy over that like which we had potential of being way up in the standings so we're gonna fish tomorrow we have five hours of fishing and hopefully we can hook up with one of the fish that we moved today because that'll put us up way up there hopefully maybe make some money which would be yes. pretty cool but make sure you check out DJ's channel DJ's custom baits, make sure you hit him up for a bait and make sure you pay him first before he builds it too. Very <laughs> important that you do that. <laughs> See ya. Uh, doing things a little bit different today. So it's 5-12. Our plan is back everything up really quick and get out 
to our spot before 7 a.m. We want to have everything ready. We want to have cameras rolling, bait set, boat in position by 6.58 so we can make that first cast at 7 a.m. and just stick in that one area and hopefully get on the board. So I'm going to pack everything up. We're going to get out on the water. I'm exhausted. It's been crazy. So, a little bit later than we were hoping, but we weren't expecting to have to uh, drive through a forest. Well, we knew we had to go through the uh, right. forest, but oh no, there's already somebody back there. Not all the way back, though. I think we'll be okay. All right, I'm gonna rig everything up. I'm gonna get right back into it. Hopefully, get on some fish. We were talking about it earlier. Everybody has their epic day. Today, we need to make it our epic day. A few fish yesterday in this 100 yard stretch. A couple really big fish. And this is where we're gonna milk today. This is where we're gonna get our super cat. Gonna milk it. We're gonna get our big girl. Look at this, Dennis made this last night. Cut the tail off a Lake X fat bastard. Has a, well, just a random bucktail. It's got turning water baits, bucktail blades. Turning water baits, there you go. Aaron Pratt. Holla. <laughs> it looks pretty good. That's it. Really? Yeah. And he like moves water pretty quick and I'm not a hundred percent, but I think I might have just pulled something in. Really? Yeah, because. Just move up and then them. Well, no. The reason why I, I was I just did like that the dying action where you like bring it in and then kill it, move it, and I saw this big shadow, not like right on it, to the right a bit, and then it just looked like it swam off. But I can't tell if it's just my eyes. All right, it's ten o'clock, and we have two hours left. We're really hoping that our fish from yesterday that we moved are going to be back there because yesterday, what time was it yesterday we started getting? It was like 10.15 year when your first fall it was. 10.15? Yep. We're right about there. So we're going to start working our way back again. Hopefully the fish that we came here for will show up. Hopefully we get on the morning every fight again. <laughs> we need a morning bite. We only have two hours. 15 minutes. We're going to have a 15 minute window and catch three fish. Yep. Calling it early. <laughs> Got an hour on the clock. Dennis is about to catch the first fish of the tournament. 30 minutes on the clock. This is when we think they're gonna start eating. How smart would we look if we caught a fish in the last 30 minutes? <laughs> Oh my god. They grab the tail, they miss the bait. Keep oh. it back here, keep it back here, keep it back here. Fish we were waiting for. Holy hell, dude. Got her? Right here? Uh, she tried to hit it, but she missed it completely. Again? She followed it in? Oh yeah. Nice. She came right up to the surface and tried, like she was going to hit it. All right, let me check the time. We might have time for 
half a cast. 12.04. Time's up. Is what it is, my friend. I'll tell you what, you look pretty damn smart. <laughs> uh, you called that joint. Nothing you can do, man. Why do they always, I mean, there's tooth marks. Oh, those could be a fuck rash. Or teeth, I don't know. Why do they always eat it from the top down, dude? Well, I just finished editing this tournament video. It was an awesome experience. I mean, doing what we had to do just to fish it was already a feat in itself. We were literally sitting at a ramp on Friday morning at 7 a.m. and we spent probably five hours searching every single river possible in West Virginia. We were checking river gauges, we were calling people that lived in other areas and we were willing to drive up to six hours but it came down to us having to fish a lake. We also looked at three other lakes and all of them were closed due to flooding. So we pretty much had to go to Stonewall Jackson Lake and that being said I'm pretty stoked with the fish that we moved and the opportunities that we had because neither of us are lake fishermen and neither of us have ever even been to Stonewall Jackson Lake. So to be able to go out and at least find some fish to me is a win. You know, we went out and had the opportunity to get on the board. We had the opportunity of catching fish and I think we both did a really good job. Dennis especially, he literally called that last fish and oh, to a T. I couldn't find the GoPro clips of us talking back and forth about it, but the miner kicked in at 11.30 and that fish ate at 11.40. So we were talking about it for hours, even in the last hour, we gave that area in the back with the drain pushing out water like a 20 minute break where we just went up probably 100 yards, sat there, ate lunch cast it around a bunch like up in that area but we really wanted to spend the last few minutes in that back piece because Dennis was sure one was going to eat and it did scared the crap out of me absolutely screamed like a little girl jumped around the boat I was just on edge I mean we're you're in the last 30 minutes of a musky fishing tournament with no real noise going on around you we're in the back of a creek in the middle of nature like just both in the zone focusing and then this big angry muskie comes up and tries to eat a bait right in front of the boat and it's just exhilarating so very cool so stoked to have been there very happy to have competed and it was a good time very good time something else I wanted to talk about really quickly we were both using the chaos tackle assault sticks which are rods from Chaos Tackle that if you guys are interested in checking out a musky rod, those are the ones that I would highly, highly recommend. I've been using mine since I got back from Wisconsin back in May, and that's my only musky rod that I'm throwing now. And Dennis got a brand new one right before the tournament, and he loves it. They're awesome rods. Really good price point. I'm gonna leave them linked in the description below for you guys, but huge thanks to Dennis for taking me out with him to fish this tournament. Make sure you guys go check out his YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave that linked in the description below. It's DJ Custom Baits. He puts up some very good stuff, a sick editor himself, and he also has some of the sickest paint work in the musky world, so make sure you go check his stuff out. If you guys are interested in the boiler maker that I was throwing and got the follows on, again, check those in the description below as well. Just leaving a bunch of musky links down there today. But really hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a great time. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. We just hit 50,000. Thank you guys so much. I truly, really, seriously appreciate it. It's been a fun ride. I gotta go. I gotta edit a bunch more. See you guys.